Smashville. Everybody tweet Redslund and tell her to change her Twitter to Smash Mom. Oh, okay, so they're right on the camera. But they're wrong on the. Uh... I, okay, after this game, I'm really gonna. After this set, I'm gonna adjust the bit, right? We're gonna actually drop the stream and make sure the quality is a little higher. Because right now, going for 3,000 is really unnecessary. Alright, so has Ned beaten the Elite Four yet? Ned? I believe so, right? Has beaten all the Elite Four, I believe. Um, this is. I don't know what the record is versus Dan. Dan, of course, knows. Dan knows all these things. He's really smart when he does this stuff. And it's Ooh. not going to take the stock. Also, he's not his uh, signature black CSS. Ooh. I think he plays black, right? He was playing green today on green team, but this is obviously something different. Uh, Mar Mario getting down up tilt. All he can get. Ooh, Flood's coming different. out. That's not the input he wanted. Dan's just trying to, he's just trying to play spacing, and okay, he looked like a grab. But frame one, one jab is going to uh, prevent any punish right there. That's, it's, it's so decisive. You think you have a punish, but sometimes you just don't against CSS if you don't time it perfectly. Ned is going for these, like, aerial blasters. Have you, have you seen him doing those today? Short hop neutral B? Yeah. Or not, like full hop. Just in general. He, he's full hopping into the blaster, and I'm really curious. Like, I haven't seen him land one yet, but I'm really curious what the setup he's going to go for is when he does land one. Ooh, back, back air. air. That's going to clean up the stock. So now only 80%. Dan's got to get a... Got to get this stock soon. Mm -hmm. You have to be very careful. Like, CSS Rage is not something that people take lightly. He's going to get down throw to Spike, but nice DI. Ned staying alive. We got the grab. We got the up air. We don't get a second one. I only got the one. Right now, Ned, he's, he's just trying to put on pressure. Yeah, Ned doesn't go for the, uh, the ZSS ladder as frequently as others do. He just wants to be safe. Back throw, that's going to take the stock. Yep, that's it. Edge of the stage. For sure, clean that up. The ZSS is pretty light, as it turns out. Ooh, Ooh he's not going to be it, but we are living. Excellent DI there by Dan. He knows how to get out of that. But still not a good position to be in at this point. 76% last stock. You've got to get some damage done. And Rage actually messing up the ally combo. Um, down throw to down air to forward air. Sometimes, though, you just got to realize... I can, I can actually down throw, because ESS you can't down throw up tilt at zero because she'll just hit the ground and shield. With the Rage though, you can just down throw up tilt right away, but uh, he went for the ally combo, not realizing that it won't connect. And he gets the punish right there, very nice. A forward smash, very excellent read on that ledge get up, and now Dan uh, has run this back. Smash will platform save him a little bit. Oh, and that dash act, you have to punish that every time the ESS throws that up, it's really gonna save and he's just narrowing these shields. Ned does not want to go into this one. He's a little afraid. Mario is, uh, he's got some decent kill power, so. And you know, his, uh, Mario's shield is getting a little low, but now he's going to grab and should reset it all. Neutral B, it's fairly even game now. Much different than how it started out. Up, oh, up air is pretty fresh, but not enough to kill from that low. You need to get it on a platform, really. And you can tell the Ned wants air. the back air, and there it is. Ooh. Very well spaced there by Ned. You gotta be super careful, because she has one of the better fishing moves in the game, and she went for, what, three in a row, and the fourth one she got him. It's so safe. It's so easy to auto-cancel. And Ned is actually going to take that game. And we're moving on to game two. Alright, so, I know Ned likes Battlefield. He goes there frequently. Uh, where are they going, actually? Uh, run it back. Alright, so... Color kind of picked the default Mario. Was he going purple Mario earlier? Yes. And here, Dan, he's, uh, he's going for his ladder. Like, uh, this is going to be combo versus combo. He can combo a little harder than the other. Uh, Ned's going to land that jab, but not going to any kind of follow up. Right. A little bit greedy about. So Ned's playing a pretty, a pretty um, passive aggressive game. He's not getting close enough for Mario to do anything. He's just throwing out a lot of nares and zares, which. Might be what you need sometimes, because if Mario grabs you, you're going to eat huge damage. Mm -hmm. And Ned's whole game has just been Zare and Nair, really. Superior spacing. Ooh, but he's going to get that fourth tilt. I think that was supposed to be a uh, two-round up smash, maybe? Maybe, I don't know what he was going for. Uh, down throw. Down throw to four, and there it is. There it is. Excellent read there by Dan on that DI. And he was too far away from that ledge to make it back with some reverse DI. Back air is coming out. Ooh, ow, but he doesn't get that second back air. Yeah, Dan has a pretty sizable lead. 
Um, if you can get this first stock on DSS, you can really go in. And Dan decides to end the combo a little soon there. Doesn't want to do anything too risky. Yeah, um, ZSS does have really good get off me options. Um, we've seen how fast your bear is. I don't know how good that is as a get off me. But up, Nair is also good. Up B actually can sometimes, I don't know at this percent if it can, but at zero, up B can break the Mario's up tilts. Oh, really? Yep, and box up tilts Not too. That's true. Dan will make it back to the stage. He knows what he's doing, of course. Now, Dan's got a much bigger lead than uh, the match, first match Ned had on him. So, ooh, up, up smash. smash. That is the stock. Dan takes game two. Got a two stock there, so Annette's got to make an adjustment. It wasn't two stock. Dan made an adjustment game one, but at that point it was too late. Game two, the adjustment was already made, so he was able to win that pretty convincingly. So now Annette's got to react somehow. Uh, Ned is good at rea he's good at adjusting. He's very quick at adjusting. They're gonna run it right back to Smash Up for Game Three, so we're gonna see how this round goes. And what I have seen from Ned is that you want if you if you commentate three different sets of Ned, it looks like it's three different players playing, and that's how well this guy could just shake up his playstyle when he needs to. Mm -hmm. um, in case you are if you haven't tuned in this weekend to this panel too, Ned was the only Chicago in the top eight, and not the one people really would have expected to. He did have, I believe, the loudest chance in the venues, though. Oh, yes. That was super hyped to listen to all the Ned chants. He had more chance than the Legendary Dicks as well, so that's and pretty he hyped. Beat, he beat low one, of all people, to make it to top eight. Fantastic play by Ned, completely beating his seating by a mile. And now into this game, is even percent until Mario lands this grab. All right, Ned's able to break out. Go through a down air, which can combo into a board smash, but Ned shoots away. Mario trying to land. Oh, that grab won't catch the landing. It does catch landings quite often. Not in this instance. A little bit of space there by Ned. Oh, he's going to catch the shield drop. Is that going to be? Oh, okay. Oh, he gets the reset! But no, he doesn't get any kind of up B convert. Now, Ned, I noticed he, he had an up B, that first one, but he didn't go for it. I don't know if he knows it's not going to kill at that point. He wants to keep it fresh. He just doesn't want to risk it because Mario, you've seen the, the Mario versus uh, six, uh, Ally versus WX kill at zero, so he just doesn't want to risk that sometimes. It's a, it's really weird how Mario's up he kills. He kills, it's kind of like a one, do you remember what one inch punch is? Yes. It's the old me brawler uh, tech that was patched out, which is you'd use one of his uppies, but you only hit, like, you, if you connected with the very first frame of it, it had, like, ludicrous knockback. Not like Luigi knockback on his upbeat, but, like, it had More than crazy it should. knockback. And so, it was kind of like Rosalina was way knockback. He's gonna get Guess the spike! It, you gotta find other ways to get up sometimes because we'll eat a down throw forward air. Oh, and right there, he had, he had his flood charge. I'm, I'm going to get on every Mario in the state or in, in the city. If he had his flood charge, that would have been a free win. But Mario's don't charge or flood, and I'm gonna harass all of them until they do. What is. <clears throat> See, how, how easy is it to land on people like CSS? That situation, he would have had a free kill, but he didn't have Flood Charged, so... Right, now here, Mario, he's just going to throw fireballs. Kind of trying to cover his landing, back but there's Ledge Trump back air. Fantastic by Ned, evening out the set. One of these players is going to get to play JJ in Winner's Finals. So we will see shortly who it's going to be. Oh, he got the, the grab. Forward air's coming out. Up air's not going to connect, though. No, Mario's getting his damage. He's just trying to space out here. He's just, here okay, here he's going to land this up tilt. Up tilt comes out before Annette's up tilt. Now he's going to get him out. That's weird. What frame data does Mario's up tilt have? Uh, ZSS is definitely better, but I think... I know ZSS is like frame 2 or 1. Mario, uh, Dan just got his out. Put the input in quicker. Nice Dan. little up tilt there, but that was some weird knockback. Dan is tech chasing really well. Oh! There it is! He landed three of those! Actually, four of them, but Matt DI'd one. That was the difference. I think he's been watching JT Dunks. 